All right, how's it going? So basically what you want to do um, when you're working with like instance materials and changing textures, um, first, of course, is, you know, creating the material. So um, change it, you know, name it color material here, open that up, and we're going to make a three vector. So if you hold down the number three and left click, um, it'll make a three vector. And we'll right click, convert to parameter. We want to give this a name. Um, let's call it random color. Apply. Save. Oh, <laughs> I got to take the first. Now we'll apply. All right, minimize that. And now we want to make a new C++ class, actor. And I'm going to call this guy um, Random Color Actor. And we'll create that. All right. So once that opens, let's go ahead and open up our .h and our um, C++ file. And now we need to add in a few elements here. Um, so what I think I'm going to do, I'm going to put everything public. So the first thing we want is a uh, static mesh actor, or a static mesh component, excuse me. I'm going to put that in a category. Um, let's call it uh, color mesh, I guess. And then we want to want it to be a class. So you static mesh component. And then we'll give it a name. We'll call it match. Now we want to uh, create our um, material instance dynamic. So you material instance dynamic. Um, and we'll give that guy a name. I can spell. <laughs> and, Ah, instance. There we go. Um, then we want one more. That's going to be just the uh, uh, the uh, the actual material itself, which is a U material interface, and that'll make sense soon here. And we'll call that M dynamic. And then I want to do a U function. Um, and this is going to be you can handle this any way you really want to. But I'm going to do it as a um, blueprint callable uh, event. So now let's just grab this guy, hold down control and hit period. And we'll create the definition just so it's already in there so we don't have to worry about it. All right. And now let's first uh, initialize our mesh. So. I'm going to copy that name coming here in the constructor. And we want to create our default sub object. Uh, and that, of course, is a U, U static mesh component. And we want to set the text of that. Um, okay, close that off. And I'm going to make that the uh, root component of my um, my setup here. All right, so let's go ahead and include a few things. So I want to include um, the U object folder um, the, and uh, instructor helpers. And that way I, I can actually grab the um, material that I want to use. And then I'm just going to include engine.h. And I'm also going to be using the Kismet Math Library. Um, and this is so I can use random float and range. Um, okay. So that's, uh, yeah, that's pretty much everything that I want right there. So now we want to. Um, set up our constructor helper. Okay. 
Pathfinder, Serial. Um, and then we'll give that a name. And then we want to actually grab the uh, material reference. So let's go into Unreal real quick. And I want to right click on this guy and go to copy reference. We're going to hop back in here and paste that. So you'll see that here's the kind of uh, syntax for it. So material, because it's a material and then game, which is referencing like the content folder. So if we look in Unreal here, we'll see content new and then the color material. So that's basically what it is. Game new color material dot color material, because that's the, uh, the, that's just the reference right here, the um, asset dot uh, you asset basically. Um, cool. So now let's um, make sure that's valid. Okay. Um, so we're gonna see if that basically is not equal to null. And if it is not, we want to set our m dynamic to that guy. So you serial um, is going to be our match dot object. Like that. Oh, and this needs to be like that. So this is referencing this name here as well as here. Right. Um, so now the next part you can kind of do any way you really want to. Uh, I'm going to be calling it um, in begin play uh, just because that's how I'm going to do it. Um, so basically, I want to check to make sure M dynamic is set, um, and then I want my I want to create my material instance. So let's go grab this name here. Um, I want to basically set that up here. So, serial instance dynamic. Um, let's create that. And then we're going to be basically creating that from M dynamic this. Okay. And this, uh, of course, is referencing the object itself. Okay. Um, so, now let's do another if. And basically, I'm just checking to make sure that that instance is being set. Uh, you can never really have too many checks, honestly. Um, so now we want to mesh component. We want to actually set our material now. So if we set our material, um, I'm going to be using the zero index of it. And I want to set it to our material instance object here. Okay. So that's pretty much everything. Uh, now we just need to set up our set or vector parameter values. Um, so we can adjust that. So material instance set vector parameter value. Um, and then here we want to call um, first the name. So what I name that? I name that random color. So color, and then we want to pass in an F linear color. Uh, this is where I'm utilizing um, the Kismet math library because I want essentially the red, green, and blue channels to be random. Okay, so I'm just gonna do this real quick and then we'll go through it. I just don't feel like typing at all. So, here I have an F linear color and then I'm passing in three values. So you can think about this as X, Y, and Z or uh, because it's F linear color, of course, it's be, it'd be red, green, and blue. Okay. So basically I have a random floating range and I'm doing it between that the values zero and one. So it's always going to give me a random value. Okay. Uh, so if you are with this setup like this, if you are using a projectile, right? And you uh, shoot at this object, you can then cast to this uh, this actor 
and do obviously your check with your hit result, right? So you would check to see if random color actor is equal to other actors. So you can do that right in the cast and then simply just call this function. Um, and that will change the color for you. So I'm going to build this real quick. All right, so that's done being built. So let's hop into Unreal again. Um, and I want to go to C++ classes and right click on my random color actor here and do a blueprint class. I'm going to put that in the new folder here. Cool. So now we can grab our mesh component, drop this guy down, this guy, and give it a mesh. I'll give it the chamfer cube. And then here, because I'm doing, I'm setting everything up on event we can play here. So um, begin play and I'm setting up the instance here. I want to put a short delay. So I'm just going to do like a delay here of like, uh, I'll see two seconds, I guess. And then we want to call uh, change color, which again is that event right here that we created. And the reason we can see that is because we uh, passed blueprint callable here. So it allows us to actually call that uh, function within the blueprints themselves. All right, so now, because we did an instance, if I do a few of these guys in here, press play, they're all black to start with, and then we get a random color. If I play again, uh, more random colors. Again, more random colors. So you can see uh, kind of how that works. Um, and then, you know, like I said, you could just um, go into projectile here and basically do a cast. Um, not in here, you would want to do your cast like right here because it's not simulating physics. So you would do your cast here um, and then call change color, right? But uh, yeah, thanks.